Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A little different angle here. I was going to try and show you guys some of the things that I do really quick on this model kit. So this is the kit that I'm building for the Blue Ox Model Shops group build, uh, street machine group build. The 62 Chevy Bel Air. I already did a video on what kit it was going to be. I got some cool ideas for this thing. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm not 100% sure that I'll do it, but I've got some cool ideas. But I was just going to show you what I do first with a when I take a, a, a kit out of the box. Um, very first thing I do is take all the parts off the trees. So they're right here. So I take all the parts off of the trees. I will, however, leave some parts on. For instance, I'm trying to do this where I can see the camera. This is some sort of radiator hose or something. I don't have a clue what the heck it is. So I've left it. I'll cut it off and leave it on its on its number because some of these little hoses and all can be kind of deceiving in the instructions. But everything else I take off of the uh, the trees. And one of the very first things that I do is not that I'm not really hiding that body. I just have the box here. One of the first things I do. Number one, I, I'll look over the body and uh, see the the body lines or the uh, uh, panel lines and see what that how do they need to be scribed. This kit is jam up. This is a what year was it? Mid nine or early nineties AMT ninety three uh, AMT kit and AMT had it going on around this these years. Um, but what I do, one of the very first things, especially if it's got a really big grill, um, you don't want to take and sand this body and paint it up and get it all finished and then take your grill and try to install it and it not, it have to be trimmed because you have quite a bit sometimes on these cars quite a bit to trim to get this thing to fit right now this one I will say fits really nice I have done just a little bit of trimming for instance the 1970 GTX that we did for the USAC group build um, those those headlights and all don't fit in there very well they they're the shapes not even the right shape but this this kit has got I don't know how well this is focusing, if it's even focusing. Let me just do this right here. I don't know. Let's see. What in the heck did I just do? I don't know what I just did. But anyway, I hit something on my camera when I closed it. Hold on. There we go. Okie dokie. So, this one you've got a nice, like I say, it fits really nice around the headlights I will never get this in there one-handed but if you'll notice the shape of the grill fits real nice around the body super nice I will de-chrome this I don't like the way this chrome looks and see you also get things like see that parting line there in the chrome you would have to scrape that off and it would leave you a, if you left it it looks kind of bad but I I will I will scrape that and I will dechrome this stuff and then spray it what I've been using it's I've been getting some great success out of is this spastics mirror chrome that stuff works good sprayed over a shiny black a shiny black um, base or the Alclad or the AK, all of them got some good chrome, but the Spastics has been working good for me. First thing, that's the first things that I will do, especially for the body, is make sure that that is going to fit that. Then I will go ahead and start sanding down parting lines and things like that. For instance, there's one right there. You see it? And it runs. This is, it's kind of in a bad place. But it runs. Let me see if I can get it to come into focus. You see that parting line right there on top of the chrome? That's not the chrome trim. Because if you look right here, 
you see how it comes in here and then it kind of disappears and then it comes back that's a parting line that's got to be kind of taken out but all in all this is a nice body can you guys hear those rain frogs outside it just poured cats and dogs here um, yeah this is gonna be nice I have decided to leave the 409 in it that is what I'm gonna do it's got a nice dual carburetor where is the intake like a uh, tunnel or not tunnel ram but a, an intake that's cross ram that's why I guess you would call that use that it's a says something on it uh, let's see if I can read what that says it's turn upside down I think it's got words on it how the heck did they get that stuff on there I don't know what it says I have to get my magnifying glass out the valve covers that I'll be using it's got two sets of valve covers I'll be using these often often Hauser I think how you say it those those valve covers it's gonna look nice but it doesn't have headers this kit doesn't it's just got these uh um, intake manifolds I might have to find something else for for exhaust but I might just use those just keep it simple and let me grab these tires I'm going to use some 3d resin printed tires that I got tires and wheels that I got from my friend Alan Qualls Alan's printed me off some cool let's see if I can get to focus on these now those right there isn't that cool looking and it's a ET drag type, you know, street drag tires. And then it's got the fronts. I won't stand up with skinnies right there. So I will be putting those on there. And that would qualify it for a street machine just by putting those on there. But I got a few ideas that I want to do to it. And I think it's going to be awesome. But anyway, all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get, get to work sanding this body probably go ahead and paint the body first thing then I'll start to um, start to uh, work on everything else and reason I reason I say I'm gonna probably do the body first is because man if something goes wrong with your body um, not that I don't have other kits that are like this but if something went wrong if this was the only kit you had and uh, I don't know something catastrophic you accidentally dropped it and stepped on it whatever and you already had all this stuff together and you didn't have another kit you know it'd be like oh man so I'm probably gonna prep the body and get some paint on it I'm gonna paint it blue and I think the blue that I'm gonna use is this I've never done it before but my friend Billy Bear had sent me this Alclad candy electric blue that is a clear blue and it goes over this bright silver candy base so he recommended i want he he, he he i'm just sitting there stuttering i wanted to paint it blue my friend benny johnson asked if i'd paint it blue which blue would look amazing on this car but then uh billy said hey matthew you should try that candy so i'm going to try that candy blue if it doesn't work we, like billy said we can strip it and go some other direction but anyway that's what i'll be trying my first ever candy paint job all right let me get to work Stand by. All right, well, as getting started, like I said, this this thing has a parting line that's it's in a really bad spot. Oop, wrong way, let me darken this up, see if I can get you. You, know, you can't really tell, but anyway, party line that runs right on the top of the chrome strip and i'll be quite honest with you it will make the chrome strip or your chrome trim not look so good i wish i could get right you see right here right there there's a there's a there's a seam and then it runs together you see that right there so to I'm not saying you can't. This is not at all saying you can't do it. And I know tons of people have. But I was like, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be a booger. So I just decided to do something different. And since this ain't the body that came in my kit, I went ahead 
and just removed all the chrome and the door and you can't see it because it's so darn blurry and the chrome and the door handles and I have rounded the edge a little more so you don't have a you don't have a ridge up here like the stock body let's see if we can compare these two it's kind of hard to compare because once you take off the chrome but that white one is so darn bright anyway I have rounded the get my pointer again I use these so right here is a bit of a it turns up just a little right there it's hard to tell but it does it comes back up it's very hard to tell when it's not focusing right so hold on a second don't know if I can no hold on don't know if that's any better try to change the setting here but anyway like I said there is a little so when you take off the chrome there's still like an edge so what I did is I sanded and rounded it really round right here see that so I've changed the body substantially up front to your front fenders are once you take off that chrome you still have a kind of a it's kind of a square you know an edge so I just went ahead and rounded it really good and I'm still going to do some more finished sanding but I think it's going to I think it's going to look really nice without the chrome so that's with the chrome and that's without the chrome I think it cleaned it up a lot I think it looks going to look good and for what I'm going to oh I removed all the badges so back here was your Chevy badge right there your two badges Chevrolet and the badge above it and I went ahead and took all that off so I think this is going to be a cool street machine whoa a very cool street machine doesn't that look slick no door handles I had to rescribe the uh, the the uh, door lines because I actually went completely through so I, I'm, there's there's plenty of plastic there to sand uh, and I've taken a lot off I bet I've sanded see my pants that's where I wipe my, <laughs> my sand pads off on but anyway yeah it's a uh, it's come along cool man I think this is going to be a a neat looking street machine but all right and I've only broke one thing and that's this right right there I press and holding it too tight so yeah look at those lines Isn't that nice all right I'm gonna keep saying it be right back all right well I got my uh, silver base on the body and I've never sprayed any of this candy base but man I don't know you can't tell it on this camera but it makes this it has this shimmer to it that I've never seen paint do so anyway I got it coated but I will tell you one thing that this silver paint does it shows you every flaw you have ever made um, that's okay I'm gonna go ahead this is kind of an experimental spray a uh, trial for me I've never used this stuff so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the blue candy on here and if it turns out bad I'll strip it and do it again if, if it really <laughs> enhances my flaws so uh, we shall see I'll set the camera up and we'll we'll spray some candy blue on it and uh, see how it turns out if it, if it looks bad I've got enough I can paint it twice um, and so yeah let me let me see what I can do here
Okay, well, that was a fail. Absolute fail for me. Um, I gotta have some practice on candies. Um, I'll have to call, talk to Billy a little bit more about this. The guy, Billy Bear, the one who sent me this paint. Uh, and also, it shows the silver. Um, really shows all my flaws. And if, since I've done some sanding on this body, there's a lot of stuff that you probably wouldn't see with a normal paint job. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of going and uh, doing and trying this again and potentially how to do it a third time, I'll get a body and practice on it. I think I've got a 67 Chevelle body. And uh, Hobby Nut Models now has Alclad candies. So uh, I might get some more. But I think I'm going to paint it with some MCW, <laughs> MCW enamel. Don't be mad at me, Billy. I tried, man. But uh, something too, it, it, it looked gummy. The blue did. And I, I, I had my my pressure set like it said to um, but in some of the paint it like looked gummy I don't know why maybe I, I was just too heavy that's probably what it was my first time doing it when you spray enamels you can lay that stuff on there pretty heavy but when you spray this apparently you got to do like super light mist coats um, but anyway no harm no foul I'll strip it and I know I said I'd just do it again with the candies but I don't think I'm going to I think I'm gonna get something else to uh, practice some candy on and then and also my dang gun was spitting some stuff out so you, you can see barely can see over on the trunk it's got some some stuff it was spitting out I don't know what it is and it's starting to rain now but anyway yeah I'll soak this body and uh, coat it again with some primer and fix a few of these flaws that really stand out like a sore thumb that I didn't even really couldn't see that well but boy does that silver bring it out and because this blue is just a transparent paint um, you, you see right through it <laughs> literally you can see right through it and uh, anyway all right so that's what I'm gonna do soak her down be right back all right so I got my body all back prepped and ready to go again um, I changed the hood a little bit. I don't know if you can tell it, but you're like, what the heck did you change? It don't look, it just looks smooth. Well, I, uh, I got a glove on with my hand. Sorry if you hear it crackling. The hood looked like that. There's ridges and it had a dip in the center. Also, under the hood, would have been a chrome strip that attached and met the grill. What I did is I went ahead and molded, I can't tell if this thing's focused or not, but I went ahead and molded that chrome strip onto the bottom and uh, feathered it in with some body filler and also remove those um, ridges and uh, gosh this thing is crazy remove those ridges and uh, filled in that center because it had that it has a dip right there see it dips I took the ridges off and I'm and I again I, I filled in and I added that um, chrome part that was on the bottom and uh, molded it in so it's just all one piece now I'm just going for the clean slick look removed all the chrome off the side here went back and did some more sanding because of that um, Alclad candy really showed my flaws and so I'm not going to Put another coat of that on there because I still will have flaws that will stick out like a sore thumb but with the uh, enamel it, it covers a little more heavy so that's what I'm about to do I'm about to mix so I've got this just blue this crazy thing is 
can't tell there we go doesn't know what to look at but I'm gonna take this blues a little lighter than I wanted so I'm gonna add some dark uh, probably just a drop or so of black just to tone it down a little bit I want to do a non metallic color so that's what I'm going to do here and uh, we'll get it sprayed on there and see what this thing's gonna look like so I'm proud of the body I think it's cool because that's what it did look like and now it's a lot smoother all right let me spray some paint be right back all right here is an update on the paint well on the whole thing so like I said the Alclad candy um, it showed too many of my flaws from doing the body work on here and instead of wasting another coat of that I went ahead and just went with um, MCW enamel however you know when you've got something just right you feel like you, you could always tweak it a little bit more well sometimes that's not a good idea because I tried my thin a thin my, uh, my ratio a little more a little more thinner I was like let me try you know I've been doing the same thing over and over and over it's been working real good so you know let's change it which makes a whole lot of sense so I thinned my paint a little more and I did not get the finish that I liked it was much more um, I just didn't lay down as smooth that's okay though um, I'm not going to repaint it I'm going to foil the the windows and I will clear it so the clear I'll give it a wet sanding and then I'll clear it so no harm no foul I just I don't know I don't know why I thought hey let's let's try see if we can get it even I mean when it's laying down slick as glass you would think that's about as good as you're gonna get but no no let's let's go ahead and change the whole mixture ratio yeah that's what I get for that but anyway um, I'm not going to strip it again so uh, all right so one thing that I, I haven't mentioned to you guys is how I was going to do some cool modifications and I kind of hate to give this away but it is kind of hard to hide so you ever see those old impalas and things like that when they hooked up at the drag strip and they they leave real hard and pull the front left and you know it just twist twist up kind of like that pulls that front left hard well i went ahead and um that's my that's what i'm going for i'm gonna do the uh animated so you can see i've got my rear axle i had to do some carving see the white stuff that's where i've had to trim and totally remove the inner fender well here because my tires are going to hit but yeah um i got her all It's, there we go see it's all jacked up like it's so it's going to be leaving the line just about dragging the bumper and i think that's going to look cool i'll put some weight back here in the back so it won't do, so it won't just be sitting i want the front wheels off the ground and uh i think this is going to look really cool so uh that's that's what i'm going for on my street machine it's going to be kind of kind of an animated um uh, like it's launching but it's not going to have a driver so I could put windows and paint paint them black so you can't see but you know it's not going to have a driver which is kind of i saw a uh dukes of hazard diorama at the uh roanoke virginia show and it was awesome it was jumping you know it was up in the air but it didn't have a driver and it's kind of like yeah you know it would have been more realistic if it had a driver well this one's not going to have a driver either so it's just going to be doing a wheel stand with nobody in it um, or a real short person maybe anyway I got that I got the um, all my my parts I need to turn some light on here sorry the light is off over here but here are my uh, a lot of my parts most all the parts so the everything that's going to be chromed um, like here's my here's my front bumper so there's the bumper that is just a uh, Mr. Hobby uh, black Mr. Hobby primer that stuff is great as a matter of fact 
it's it's this uh, thinner or uh, primer right here, Mr. Finishing Surfacer. This is 1500 black. I've already got it thinned. I just I thin it and I go ahead and just spray it. But check this out. So that is that primer, and it is as good as flat black has ever been. Um, I think, man, I'm not even going to paint that. That's just primer. I'll go in there and do some detail painting, but as far as the color goes, it's just as nice and satin as you could ask for. As a matter of fact, man, if you painted something like one a satin black, golly, this is this stuff is just as satin and even or consistent. Yeah, look good. Anyway, that's what I painted. I went ahead and primed all this stuff with that. There's the engine right there. And I'm going to paint it a Chevy red, Chevy orange, or it's called red, but it looks orange to me. So all those parts, I have my interior, that stuff's painted. Semi-gloss black on the seats. I want to have a little bit of, look like they rubbed her down with armor all. Maybe that's what happened to the driver. He slid out of the door and uh, the gas was pinned down. That's what happened, yeah. The, my seats were so slick. My dad used to armor all his truck seats um had like 87 ford ranger and it was a bench seat in there and man my dad believed in keeping a clean truck and armor all oh man he would armor all that seat you could just slide across it maybe that's what happened to the driver once he kicked a wheel stand slung him out the door and they caught this picture just before the front tires came down since the throttle wasn't mashed but anyway that's a good story right anyway so that's where i'm at and I'm going to end this video because, to be honest with you, my first segment was like a week ago and I forget things that I've already talked about because I'll, since I kind of like stretched these videos out for like a week or so, I don't remember what I covered in the first segment. I guess I could go back and watch it. But anyway, I know that that paint job had to come off and I think that's where I left it at. But I had really had nothing else done. I'm excited about my tires and wheels. My uh, friend Alan Qualls keeps me supplied with some awesome tires and wheels. So uh, that's what's going to be on it. There's drag radials. And uh, yeah, anyway. All right, well, I guess I'll just wrap this up. I'll come back. Um, I'll, I'll get to work and doing some other stuff. And that, that video will come out, you know, in a few days or weeks or months. But hopefully sooner than that. But I do appreciate you guys watching supporting me um, i do get some comments occasionally like you don't show anything matthew you just show what you've done that's kind of that's kind of what i do i don't i don't do a lot of like building on camera um i mean if there's something specific you want me to try to do and i'm no expert at this stuff so that's another reason i'm kind of intimidated to to do those types of videos because like there are some sure enough critics out there um that watch my videos and if i do something wrong they're going to let me know and it can be discouraging you know what i mean it can be discouraging i can do uh, my building and show you updates is which i i prefer that um, i do shoot paint on camera but i i uh i didn't shoot this paint on camera but i, I do prefer to just do the building and show you guys where i'm at and what i've done and maybe explain it to you so I hope that's sufficient. But like I say, if there's something that like you see that I do and you're interested in how I do it, just let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll be sure to um, make a video uh, covering that. But anyway, so I'll end this now. Um, thanks to Jason over at the Blue Ox Model Shop for putting this group build on. Street Machine Group Build. Up in, I think you have until the first of the year to get yours finished, but I'm going to have this finished way, way before that. Um, I'm the world's best procrastinator, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this one. It takes up too much bench space. I've got one, two, three, like four build spaces here, and I got stuff kind of on them. And I, I got to quit doing that so much because it robs my time. I need to focus on one and get it done. Anyway, again, thanks to Jason over at Blue Ox Model Shop for putting this on. If you hadn't been over to his channel, uh, if you hadn't subscribed to the Blue Ox Model Shop, I'll link his channel in the description of the video go check him out i'm sure most of my viewers know who, exactly who jason is he's been here at my shop before he lives up in new hampshire 
and uh, he's been down here and we had a good time anyway good friend of mine all right guys thanks for watching check out hobbyduntmodels.com where you can get some of this mcw paint that lays down a lot better than this one i just you know like i said i messed up my mixing I, or uh, intentionally changed it you know just trying to get it that much better it didn't work go check out mark's inventory over at hobbynutmodels.com she grabbed yourself a kit or some paint or some of this primer or some you know all kind of stuff that i got um came from hobby Dump models go check him out linked in the description below is the link to get you there um as well as his facebook group thank you to everyone who's a member of the model car videos facebook group who purchased things from the spring store and to my patreon members guys you're great thank you for all your support you guys take care and we'll see you on the next one Bye. Bye.